And according to my thing, we are live. Hey, everybody. Hey, V. I am. Did you freeze it or did somebody froze? call you? No, it froze. It went bloom, bloom. <laughs> but you're here. You're with me. Oh, Lord. If, we, if you're watching us, we've been talking for like 20 minutes now and everything's been fine. And the moment I hit enter, maybe, <laughs> maybe it acknowledges it or it lets you know or something. We that was weird. This. Make sure I'm in the right place. So it says somebody already commented. Hey, Robin. If you're watching or you're, if you're watching live or in the archive and you want to share, please do. We That's one of the best ways you can support us is by Sharon. Sharon is Karen. <laughs> Sharon is Karen. But not that kind of Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Kaylin. Hey, Norm. Hey, Linda. Hey, guys. Hey, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to get to the right deal here. Share, please oh, do. Okay, there we go. Mute that. All right. Hi, Norm. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kaylin. Hey, Paul. My K baby is here. Oh, my Polo's God. Polo's here. <laughs> Polo in the house. Yay. Hey, my I love hey. it. Oh my gosh, we've got so many cool fun it's, people. We've, hey, got people. we've got lots of people from the past here. No, wait, like, come on in. Come on to our house, our house, come on in. Ooh, what you drinking? What is that? Do you guys have Olga's in Florida? No, and I just saw that. I'm like, is that say Olga's? Yes, and it's like um Tell me it's sweet tea. Actually, no, it's an orange cream cooler. Oh, nice. But Olga's is a... Hey, Elizabeth. I'll describe it. It's a it's a sandwich place. They have salads and sandwiches. But the thing is, they have this Olga bread that is just spectacular. That they it's just called put all Olga bread? Olga bread. Yeah. <laughs> oh. so, cooler is to die for. So. Too funny. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Elizabeth, hang tight. We'll we'll be asking um, in just a moment for some who wants a reading, but we'll 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 chat for a little bit here first. Wait, yeah. Robin, heck, Robin, is that a heck yeah to Olga's? Oh, Olga's is life. Okay, Kaylin said it's like Wawa for Virginia and Seven Eleven. Thank you. No. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Now I know what you're talking about. Hey, Erica. Oh, to fix so you fixing something? Because I'm gonna—I was gonna ask you what's been what's been happening. Um, not much. Um, what's been going on with me? Uh, I'm trying to—I'm trying to line up. I'm looking at your face on the screen, and then I'm trying to line my face up on the screen. Yeah, tilt your, tilt the top of yours back. Back. Boom. There. Boom. We're eye level. Okay. Um, no. what's been going on with me? How you doing? Um. I am finally, I have a launch date for my course. What, did I miss the baby? No, I'm just looking over there waving at you. Oh. <laughs> it's like the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? If they ever rebooted it, you know, you know, you know the yeah. family would have to be something very different. Top notch. Top notch. And, not, and not that sad whitewashed Brady's of the, of the 70s. Ooh. This is one of my favorite. The Spanish pie is everything. Oh, Elizabeth says we're breaking up. Ah. So are we both yeah. breaking up or just one of us? So she said you guys are breaking up. So they, oh, Danny, yay. I pulled a card from the Shadowscapes Tarot, and that was, it reminded me, literally, it reminded me of Danny because that was one of his favorite decks he always used. Nice. Um. Oh. I finally have a launch date for my course. My launch oh. date is going to be June 17th. So I'm starting the promotion of it like now. Um, so just getting it all together. It's been a long road, it feels like. Um, but after turning 41, because there were so many fives, like five, five, my birthday, the year added up to five. I turned 41, which was a five. Like, I really don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> right all the fives are about, you know, change, sometimes chaos and freedom and 
like I some of the things that I really cared about, like I just don't give it that much energy and attention because I find I stress myself out. I'm looking at the places where I'm finding stress and I'm like, do I care that much? Can I let this go? Um, so yeah, some of these things have been just, I need some me time. So I haven't been on social media as much. I nice. um, still love everybody, love what I do, but I've just been taking some time to pull back and to really get myself together. So, and just relax. So outside of that. Cool. Oh, and my wedding was the 15th. So I've been married for a year. Guys, and what? What? What was the fifteenth? Oh, my anniversary! One year anniversary. <gasps> I've been married for one whole year. Nice, so. congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations! Yes, Forty-one. Forty-one. All eyes. So. Danny, All don't lies. forget! Don't forget! I'm double fives. I'm fifty-five. <laughs> and only day over 32, honey. Ooh, just the white hair gives it away. <laughs> so, so I wanted to share something you shared um, a while back about um, uh, imposter syndrome. Ooh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're having sex talk now. The, when you put the headphones on, it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> literally, Ooh, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell, tell me more. Tell me more. So, um, the last, the last couple weeks, you know, and I'm, I, you know, I have my full time career in health and fitness, and I, I do this, this work, and I'm finding an email. So if you see me looking down, I'm finding an email. And now I can hear myself echoing. It's my headphones. I'm sure that's what it is. I'll take them off. Don't worry. Ugh. Don't worry. Hold on. We tried this before. Did we? Did we try it with my? Because I'm using the earbuds. Did I try it with my landline? Did you hear me? <laughs> Y'all, it ain't Mercury retrograde, but hang in there. <laughs> Oh, that. I think I did see another way. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Is that better? Yes, yes. And I don't know if it was just me, though, so I feel bad. I can, can you hear us? <laughs> but, <laughs> I, know I, can, I know I can hear you, but I know you're mouthing what that. Thank you, Polo. Thank you, Daddy. Here we go. There we go. Oh, can you hear us? We're yeah. gonna figure this next time. We're gonna have to figure this out. What we can do? What combo we can do? If I have to put my, I don't care which earbuds I use. Okay, you can hear great. So, so, uh, just it was kind of weird. You, you know, I'm sure anybody who is in the chat and reads, you'll probably kind of understand what I'm what I'm talking about. A lot of times, you're there. You're in the middle of a reading with the client, and this your voice up in the back of your head going. Is this shit real? I mean, you're you're pulling your cards, you're connecting the spirit, you're doing your thing, and you're like, oh my god, are you the charlatan? Is this for real? I mean, you're having these moments, and and sometimes the words that are coming out of your mouth, and I think part of it for me is, I've been doing it so much and doing it a lot that it, it 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 may feel very natural, very normal now. We're just like regular communication to somebody on the street. I don't think much about it. Mm -hmm. Where it's not quite as much boom, bang, pow, you know, like, oh, my God, was this? you know, and even I'm feeling this is amazing. I can't believe. It. So I was having those moments where I was really making sure I was centered. I was burning my sage, got my candle lit, my Palo Santo, doing my quiet time, making sure, you know, like, like, you know how we always make sure like, OK, what's going on in my world? OK, let me make sure I'm drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, eating the right foods, get rid of all the physical stuff. You know, and I, and I felt better this past weekend, but then, you know, it's still on my mind. And I got an email from somebody and this was actually from a reading where it was just like three or five questions. And the person said, you know, he just this person just asked a couple questions. And so I just pulled cards and, and said, OK, your first question is this pull cards. And I did it. It was all in, in a video, you know, so it was there was no interaction. It was just me putting it out there. But this person just emailed me and said, and this was literally like. It was like months, it was like a month ago. Um, 
I'm trying to see the. Anyway, so so they said, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to give you an update on the questions you did. All the things you saw came to, into fruition. As you accurately foresaw, I ended up getting into the top choice from medical school, the University of Big City, um, even after being waitlisted. And I nice. and, and I think I, I think I might have even said, hang in there no matter what, and even received a full tuition scholarship. Though they wow. never asked about finances, I still managed to get that concern in the in there somewhere. Again, I don't you know, most of this I don't even remember. But I kept saying, I told him everything was figure figurable out figure outable, which is a, a, a Marie Forleo thing. Um, you know, and they just said, you know, thanks for for sharing your stuff. And it's like, okay, that came at the right time because it's not that I'm doubting myself, but it's we all have those moments where we're going, oh my gosh, is what I'm doing really making a difference? Is it is it for real? And I know you get it, and I'm sure others feel that same way. So it's really interesting. And and when I whenever I've taught. I always have told people, especially in tarot and even psychic mediumship work, create a success journal. And when someone gives you feedback like that, you go down and you write, date number one, this person gave me this feedback. Then the next time, date number two. And then when you get down and you're going date number 4,365, you, know, you can't really deny 4,365 hits right yeah. on good job yeah. you can't deny that and that success journal i think is really powerful so it is to that person who shall remain nameless much appreciated sending you some beautiful vibration on your journey into medical school with all the free tuition ride that you can stand <laughs> I understand. oh so, that's awesome that's awesome yeah it i think it hit me this past weekend that this is my full-time job now like <laughs> Like, this is what I do for a living at this point, you know? Um, and I don't know what, something opened within the last month or so where, and and, I'll, and let me know if it's just me or if it's anybody else in the chat um, that, that reads. Sometimes I go through periods where nothing connects. I mean, I'm getting it, but it feels like I'm pulling, I'm pulling it. Like it's an effort to... Um, give the reading it's still a good reading but i feel the effort on my part and now like i'm in this 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 flow where it just feels effortless yeah. you know still breaking up oh no um and you know v i i that's one thing i love about tarot mm -hmm. you and i have done the study we know the cards oh so yeah if we ever get that moment of Oh my God, did I just lose connection? Am I breaking up with spirit? Yeah. We've got the cards. And that's something that is so beautiful that I feel that's when we when we float between the veil. Okay, let me use my physical human tools right now. Okay, let me tap into spirit. That, and there's yeah. I think what you're describing is when it's like it's intermeshed and we're just, you know, we're we're truly being that spiritual being, having that physical moment, and we're yeah. we're like cats. We're going back and forth through the veil real easily. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and so, so I, so, I Danny, know when, so Danny and Polo said we sound good. So whoever we're breaking up, I would say maybe check your connection, maybe go in and come back out. Um, hopefully that will work because we'd love for you to be able to hear everything. Um, but no, yeah, it's, it's so, like I said, I, and for a period of time, it was just like, it, it felt like work, you know, and now it's just like, like just falling off you know out of the, the 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 ether and the readings have been amazing and it doesn't when i leave i don't feel like i need to go take a, a 10 hour nap you know yeah. so but and also you know you you've just talked about you know you're you're not giving a shit anymore <laughs> so maybe that <laughs> maybe that has a lot to do with it too maybe when it's, you have to actually give a shit it hurts <laughs> or doesn't feel like you're connected yeah <sighs> but it also be dealing with you know that that perfection piece of this has got to be right this is what i do and people are entrusting me and you know but when you let that go you also let go of the control to allow for you to be a stronger conduit so one of my yeah. one of my she was my teacher in the beginning then she became an eagle and now she's a good friend and a client as well but she always says to me she says you know, one of my, she goes, Mitch, that's your superpower. And what she's referring to is the fact that I can give a reading 
walk away, not even think about it, not not feel attached to it, not you know. I just let go of the outcome, and I'm and also I am empathic and I'm I sensitive, but I know when I'm holding on to something because I lay my head down at night and I'm still thinking about that client, and, I, and I'm like, no, no, yep. I'm sorry, God bless you, send you love and light. You're on your own. This ain't my shit. You yep. know, and that's, I think that's when people get burned out. And that's when I would walk away from fairs. Like I just did, you know, a four, a five hour shift with like 15 or 16 client, you know, back to back to back with a few breaks. And I walk, I drive home and I'm like, I'm energized. I feel good because I don't love every one of those clients, but you know what? That's the, that's gone. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm gone. You're on your own now. Yeah. I did my job. One I, and delivered, done. I delivered my food and I'm walking home. I ain't thinking about what I delivered. <laughs> So um, I think I think Tiana's saying, "Hey, Boog." <laughs> oh, is Boog here? Oh no, they showed up. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, so and the other thing I want to say, speaking of imposters, I knew there was a tie. Holy mackerel! So I'm not getting duplicate accounts made of me, but what I am getting on a daily basis is uh-huh. these accounts that are, you know, trolls, and they post, you know, sh- we share, and it's some like dream podcast or something which i've already blocked but it's it's troll accounts that have like you know one picture and following three people and they just keep tagging like you know we share or come share and it's just like troll stuff and i'm like block report report block and i'm like oh my gosh do i have to do this every day so yeah the 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 bots yes the bots are out hey tiana hey tiana hello the bot it's it's yeah it's been crazy so, so, well, V, you want to do some readings? Uh, sure. Sure. All right. So <laughs> listen up, people. If you're new, especially listen up, but you've got a really, really good chance. So to, if you have, have had a reading from me and V the last two times we've been on, which has been two weeks ago and four weeks ago, give it just a little bit of time. If you had one two weeks ago, please, please wait. Um, and what you need to do, this is how we make it fair for everybody. If you want to get a one card reading from each of us, we'll each pull one card so you get two cards. You need to type the word me, M-E in the chat. And that is giving us permission and we put you on. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to do eight readings. So go for it. Um, so if you had a reading two weeks ago, please don't put anything on there yet. <laughs> They're on grinder too. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. They're looking for, those bots are looking for love. So, all right. So I got Elizabeth and Jean. Yep. And Sue. And Danielle. And Robin. And, hold on. Uh, Danny. Two more. I got Elizabeth, Brenda. Jean, Sue, Danielle, Robin, Danny, and then two more. Brenda. Brenda. And Sandy. Sandy. All right, done. Woohoo. All right, those are our eight people. So if you didn't get on for whatever reason, maybe your th- thumbs and fingers are too slow. If you didn't get in one of our eight, then what you do right now, just, just pick a number between one through eight and piggyback on their reading. Or you can just stay open for a message in every single reading. And you you know, we're all here collectively working together. It's really kind of cool how that works. So so either just kind of pick a number and I'm gonna go with number two. I never do number two. I'm gonna piggyback with Jean. I'm gonna still do five. Okay. V is doing five with Robin. So we, V is going to piggyback on with Robin. I'm going to piggyback on with uh, Jean. So, and V, I'm, I'm reading from uh, the Pocket of Peers Tarot. So you and I might show up. Ah! What, are you, what are you reading and with? I am reading with the Simplicity Tarot by Emily Munez, but this is the rose red edition. So the, the gilded red. Looks like cotton candy. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So, oh, Mitch. Yeah, no, right. Oh, speaking oh, of like, I, speaking of like, pocket appearance. Have you seen Chiro Marchetti slowly releasing? I have. And you know what's funny is 
at first I thought, oh, he's copying. And then I stopped myself in mid-sentence and I went, no, no, no. He did it years ago, but people paid to be in it. Like yeah. they paid like three to five hundred dollars to be like one of the court cards. You know, so I thought that was kind of cool that he's coming back and slowly putting people on his decks, which is the um Mystic Palette Tarot, which okay. is the what's the name of his company, the Mystic Palette. If you've ever okay. bought anything from him, you know the name of his company because that's the that's the PayPal account that you paid. <laughs> Oh, Barrett made it. All right. So, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is number one. And anybody else who chose the piggyback, this is mainly for Elizabeth, but the piggybackers, just you kind of glean the message yourself. So, V, you want to go first as always? Yeah, yes. Yes, Paulo, it looks amazing, that Mystic Palette. And I, you know I'm going to get it because I got every other deck right there. <laughs> and several several copies. I probably have five copies of the uh, Legacy deck because it's my main deck I use and I don't want to ever run out. I, of course, after I buy them all, the main one I first bought is still kicking. No cards missing, thank God. Yes. It's funny. Do I? No. I have no, several my, Lenormand. One of my, my decks, I lost a card, so now I just use it to do magical stuff with. Uh, That's the best thing. You lose a tarot card and you want to still use the deck, use it for magical purposes. Spells oh, and what? Cool. So, all right, so Elizabeth is up first. Elizabeth is first. Oh, and by the way, everybody, we just tell you what we think spirit needs you to hear. <laughs> you don't get to ask any questions. All right, so Elizabeth, here we have this four of coins. All right, so the bottom of the card says greed and control. All right, a couple things are coming to mind here. If you are needing to put some money, squirrel some money away, now is the time to do it. OK, um, there's a big ticket purchase that you're that you're thinking about. You're wanting to buy or if it's a home, if it's something of that nature. Now is a good time to start to put those pennies to the side. All right. Create a new account and just start squirreling money o over there little by little. OK, um, this is also talking about outside of money. I feel like this has to do with hoarding. It might be time to clean up your surroundings. I don't know if mentally you have been just, you know, foggy or clouded and your physical space is starting to show the effects of what's going on in your mind it's time to start letting some things go okay holding on to the, holding on and and getting more doesn't solve the problem okay so it might be time for you to streamline a little bit let some things go your mind will also start to clear up for the, to solve those problems that you may have okay all right, and for Elizabeth, or as she asked us to call, they asked us to call Betsy. Betsy, this is for you from me, Five of Wands. Oh, so this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off of what V is saying about like the cleaning, the surroundings and scrubbing and doing all that kind of stuff. Avoid getting overwhelmed. Mm. Pick one thing at a time. I mean, this this is interesting because this is this is five of wands, and this person is working with the Rubik's cube, and that takes amazing finesse and control of thought and staying focused on what's in front of you and remembering. But avoid getting overwhelmed by by the process because if you think about it like a Rubik's cube, oh my gosh, you got to think twenty steps ahead. And the five yeah. of wands can be about a lot of internal, inside spiritual kind of creative stuff. So. Focus on one thing. What 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 um, we learned in my hypnotherapy course was chunk it down. So if you've got a house to clean, go to one room, pick one place, focus on it, or make a list and say, okay, right now I'm going to focus on just one thing. So avoid getting overwhelmed. If you do, take a break, regroup, you know, pull back from a higher perspective. If you need to see, like, okay, it's not that big a deal, and then come back in and focus on that one thing at hand. So. So there you go, Betsy, and anybody else who chose a number one? <laughs> and Betsy said they're a studio. They're a jeweler. So. Let's see. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 oh, your jeweler. Oh, yes. Yes. Bits and bobbles, pieces and parts. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. And, and just like that Rubik's Cube. Oh, my gosh. You're putting things together. You know, to, to bring them to a conclusion there, too. You're yeah. welcome, Betsy. All right. Jean is number two. And next up, Jean and anybody else who chose number two. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Tasha's Tasha. here. All right. 
right, so Jean, for you. And me. Jean, and this is for Jean, but I'm piggybacking. Okay. So for you guys, here we have this Six of Wands, and the bottom says victory and progress. All right, it's time for you guys to stand up in the limelight. You've been through the hard stuff. All right, allow yourself, I saw that too, allow yourself, that's a message, <laughs> allow yourself to receive the accolades, okay? Um, you're not doing this for validation from everyone, but it also doesn't mean that when the validation comes in, you get all humble and scared and start to contract and constrict. Really stand up tall and allow yourself to be applauded, all right? And while you're at it, give yourself some pats on the back because You've definitely done the work to get to this space, all right? Self-validation is the best validation, okay? So. Tasha, Tasha's like, I should have gone for number two. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. All right, and then from me, Jean, oh my God, I totally shuffled. Uh, once again, five of wands. And for, you know, for this card, it's, it's definitely not the same message. This, <laughs> I'm laughing because this is about deconstructing things. Um, because literally I'm being shown, pull the damn Rubik's Cube apart and put it back the way you want it. This is not, this, Gene, this is not for you. This is, the Rubik's Cube is not your game. Your game is just giving people what they want. So, no, I'm not going to go through, jump to, this is for me too, but I'm not going to jump through the hoops just to give you what you want. Let me just put together what you need, what, what you ask for, you know? So really stay focused on the end result and just find the simplest way to get there. And again, the five of five is about, it's a tipping point. It's halfway through numerology. So it's like you're at that place where you're about to like start to go downhill once you hit the sixes. And yours was the number six, wasn't it, V? Six of wands? Six of wands, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's like yes, even the card is before the horse right here. So yeah, just stay focused on what needs to happen um, and enjoy, enjoy those accolades like V was saying. You know, that, that resonates so true with me as well. So Gene, I hope that made some sense and anybody else who chose number two. And then Sue, I'm going to shuffle these blankety blank cards now. Sue is number three. Not blankety blank. I love it. All right, Sue. No, Barrett, I haven't had any coffee since this morning, so I'm just feeling good. Just feeling good. I'll have some coffee after this before I go to bed. And yes, I can drink a whole cup of coffee and go straight to sleep. All right, so whoever picked number three and Sue is coming back around. <laughs> Six of Wands. And you guys saw and heard me shuffle. Today, two for two for that, apparently. Totally. So, <laughs> with this Six of Wands, hold on one second. Let me see if there's a different message coming through. All right. So this one is saying more about... Um, it's time for you to start to celebrate the things that you are partaking in in parts. I feel like you're someone that wants to wait until the very end in order to celebrate yourself and saying, I made it to the finish line. This is saying every rest point you need to celebrate. Every part that you have completed, there's a need for you to validate yourself because that is going to be the gas and the fuel to keep you going on the project. All right. Victory is ahead and it is coming, but I don't want you to hold and withhold that sense of um, accomplishment to the very end. All right. You know, <laughs> it is time for you to start to say, oh, you know what? I got this much done. Pat on the back. OK, I've gotten to this hurdle. Pat on the back, you know, um, in order to keep yourself going. There ain't perfectionism to the wind, all right? Um, celebrate yourself, validate every part of what you're doing, okay? So I hope that resonates. And Sue, from me, I shuffle, okay, good. <laughs> it's the Empress. Um, while you validate yourself, sit back, relax, rub your belly, enjoy this moment. The Empress is pretty much always pregnant, giving birth, not always, but we often like to think that's what she's doing. It's just they're giving birth. And you know what? I don't know if you're an artist or a creative person, but you can see the artwork on the wall. You can see this beautiful, it looks like, what is this in her hand? Is that like a, a light? 
like an orb or something. Um, but oh. it's, it's, for me, it's almost like the seed of birth. You know, so so this really speaks of, and it's number three for three. So this really speaks of just sit back, relax, chill, enjoy this moment of gestation, this moment of producing before you have to deliver. And yes, the metaphor is all about giving birth here. Um, but it's like, just produce what you need to do before it's time to deliver it and enjoy this moment. Savor, savor, savor is what I feel like the, the big thing is. <laughs> A rainbow bright punky Brewster. <laughs> So that was number three, and Sue, hope that resonated. Were you laughing at my finger? Yes, I was laughing at you sipping the water. I saw that you were like, oh. like sipping the tea, and then you're just like. <laughs> oh. All right, Danielle is number four, and anybody else who chose number four? All right, oh, Danielle is number four. And we have, oh, Danielle, Ten of Wands, and all the number four. It's time for you to lighten your load. Put some shit down, 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 all right? Um, delegating. It's time for you to delegate. You know what? It's, it's time out for the tantrums of, but nobody will help me. You have to give them something to do, okay? People will not, some, people will sometimes just not volunteer their time and their energy. You have to speak up that you need help and then offer them something to do, all right? But then you have to take the control out of it to allow them to do what that thing is, okay? Um, if you try to overlord or try to control, it won't get done. And then you end up doing it yourself anyway, all right? So there's a lot of responsibility that you have and it's time for you to ask for help so that your load can be lightened. If you are experiencing some back aches or some twinges, this is definitely a telltale sign of you're doing too much. All right. The bottom says burden and laboring. Okay. Time to put some things down. All right. And Danielle and all the number fours from me, this is the lover's card number six. Yes. Ask for help. <laughs> Partnership. Get someone to help you. And it's funny because I was going to say what I'm about to say. And then I thought, no, I'll just see if it comes out. And yeah, it's coming out. So I'm the kind of person, I'm a cheerleader. I'm a coach. That's what I do. It's, I'm a fitness person. I don't lift the weights for you. I show you and tell you how to do them. And I count eight more, seven more, yep. six more. As a group fitness instructor, I coach you and cue you through the class. I cannot help you do the step class or lift the weights in class. So if you're around me and you're not asking for help, I feel you want to do it on your own and I'm going to cheer you on. But I'm the kind of person that if you say, can you help me? I am absolutely going to jump in and help. And it's one of those things where I have to realize it's in my nature to be the coach and the cheerleader. So bottom line with this card, what V was saying, you've got some people that would love, lovers, love to help you. And number six is all about balance and nurturing. So there are people that would absolutely jump in and help you in a heartbeat. You just got to ask them. So, Danielle, number four, let's go for it. I also want to add what that lover's card is. Put down the stuff that does not compliment you. The lover's is also about choice. If you're not choosing it, put it down. It's just extra stuff. So look at all the things that you have going. What do you absolutely love? Keep those things. What don't you, if you don't care about it, you can start letting it go or give it to somebody else to finish. So... Yeah. Yeah. And you had 10 of wands, right? So that's Sagittarius energy and mine was uh, Gemini energy. So Ooh. I don't know why I thought, thought to bring that up. So, all right, we're doing number five, Robin and V. And I think you chose this again because you're a friend, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robin and Siobhan. Yay. I just spit right. on my, I just spit on my computer. Nice job. This is my dinner. I always have to check my teeth. Sue said, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. Have been making sure to, to self-care in the midst of lots of family work and enjoying and working on crafts that I enjoy to restore balance. Yes, Sue. Yes, yes, yes. Guess what? Oh, it's a baby. This is Santiago. Hi, Santiago. Look, he's getting so big. Oh, I know. They're, they're big now. You want to get up Look here? how big it is. I felt something on my leg, and I'm like, oh, that's just spirit. And then I was like, oh, no, it's a cat. It's a whole kitty. It's a whole oh. kitty. 
Oh, he's so cute. Oh, Stefano's in the back, too. Oh, I love him. Stefano probably won't come over. All right. So number five is Robin and myself. Here we go. All right. Here we have the hair effect. If we were using the pocket of here, you would have seen my face. <laughs> All right. So with this hair effect card, the bottom says belief and ethics. Okay. Um, There's a need for you to learn right now, okay? I feel like you are constantly in the space of kind of either teaching people or helping people to do something, um, learning them about something, but I feel like it's time for you to take a back seat and to take information in, okay? Um, this is also talking about your beliefs and what you believe in, what are your values? As you are learning, you make sure to take the meat and leave the bones, whatever does not resonate with you in the space of learning, you can let that go, okay? But what is coming into you right now um, is for you to mull over. It's for you to um, start making new rules for yourself. You know, some things might be outdated that you want to let go of. As you're learning these lessons that are happening now, it's kind of like starting over and you get to write the, the rule book so that at some point you'll be able to teach what you have learned, what you have adopted, what your beliefs are to other people, okay? So, and then from me, Robin, Ace of Swords. Yeah, it is the time to get very creative. And I'm going to say, I love that this has a pen in it because Ace of Swords is about communication and words. I really think um, putting a plan down, writing, journaling, getting things on paper to kind of take the trash out of the head, out of your mind, um, you know rewrite and it's funny because i'm seeing it's like don't write in pen write in pencil but if you're on a computer then you can easily erase because it's like i want you to be able to erase and edit 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 um and and avoid getting hung up on like when you when you do write and make the plan whether it's writing or not that the first plan the first idea the first thing you do has to be the end result again you can edit 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 is the key word here very interesting that there's a lot of the word edit in here. And the swords are, ace of swords are about cutting. Ace of swords can be about cutting things out. So that is trimming and editing as well. So a lot of editing going on with number five. Number five today. So hopefully that made some sense for Robin and V. And he's up, he's up in the shelf back there. <laughs> Just... He's playing around with tarot cards right there. I can't. <sighs> All right. So Danny is next, number six. All right. Robin says, lost my ex-brother-in-law as well as my brother-in-law in the past two weeks. Had to put my uncle's cat down this morning, who was a little girl black cat for a few weeks. Oh, my gosh. Hi, right, Robin. Oh, Sending everybody, everybody holding space here, whether you're live or in the replay, just, you know, let's all just hold up Robin and her family and everybody. We all know some feeling similar or the same as this, I, you know, personally cats, three cats and in, in less than three months for me and Fabian. So we know that. And, and I love that Santiago came in at the right time, <laughs> you know? This I had I had one of my really good friends come over as a client and first thing does she sits down a picture of her um, bangle cat and she's like I need to connect here and Santiago came in and rubbed all over her and she just was bawling and she's like I've never had a cat do that before um, and no. I think bang I think bangles are not quite as as uh, connected and friendly um, you're back so it was really kind of cool that that it happened so Robin you're welcome and Danny we're coming at you number six. Thank All right, Sue. Danny. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. We can still hear you. Somebody's trying to call me. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it Whoever's is. Whoever's trying to call me, stop. She's busy. Right. Stop. I put the energy out. All right. <laughs> Danny. All right, Danny, we have the seven of wands here and the bottom says valor and perseverance. I love his face because he is just 
like, you know, definitely about protecting what's yours. Kill the beast. Kill the beast. There's this thing about, you know, standing up for what you believe in, standing up for what is yours, for what is right. Um, This is really you kind of going, you know, yourself against the world, me against the world, to um, also protect your space and protect your energy. You know, so you feel a lot of outside people trying to navigate your life or tell you what to do or how you should go about doing something. You stand your ground and let them know, hey, hey, I got this. You know, I don't need all the extra. And if you have people on the outside that are trying to, um, you know, impart wisdom or even just be kind of petty or gossipy in your life, you can X them out or keep them at bay as well. Okay. There is no need for you to be defensive. Um, because I feel like you're standing in your true spirit and energy with what's going on. All right. So I hope that resonates for you, Danny. Yeah. And that, that deck is the simplicity deck again. Cause, um, who was it? Barrett saying like the deck and Jamie yeah. Sawyer, Jamie Sawyer has done it in tile form too. All right. So, and Danny from me, nine of cups, manifest that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Make it, make it happen. There you go. All right now. So, and I love the kind of, um, what's this, almost like a Nautilus, the, the, um, oh, what's that? It's, it's the, um, it's the Nautilus, but there's a term for it. It's like, you know, five, um, oh, Rapinati? Is that, is it, what's the code? It's a code. Um, somebody tell me. Huh? No. Not Illuminati. It's, it's it's a code. It's like what it's like what we're built within us and even trees. There's a certain specific code. It's like you know one point six seven one or something like that. But um, yeah, and it's very cob- kabbalistic, I think. But yeah, so create and manifest it. What it manifest it? What it is? Manifest what you want to happen. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna be honest here. Take a trip to the beach too. Relax a little bit. You know, Danny, I do know you personally, and I think you are working a lot of hours and stuff right now. So find that time, create it, plan ahead. You know, what I feel and sense is you need to be able to see, you know, a week, a month, six, a year out there and plan. And this could also be about goals and not just goals for business, but goals for personal too, from, you know, you know, exercise, weight loss to, um, you know, how many days a month are you going to take off and just go sit in the park or go to the beach, but, you know, plan for that mental uh, health and well-being. Um, so, yeah. So number six is in Danny. Going to North Carolina next month. Yes. COVID has kicked my industries, but yes. Wow. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you, um, I sat in a Starbucks for the first time in several months on Saturday and Sunday, and it was really kind of weird. And then I went shopping at Publix, which is our main grocery store. And they say, yeah, I didn't have to wear a mask if I was vaccinated, but I still wore it because it just felt a little too weird at that moment. So <laughs> it is yep. weird. Ooh, it's weird. All right. All right. So that was Danny. So Brenda and number sevens. Brenda. See, I'm saying I'm being dragged over the greater with these readings. Come on. All right. Like I say, if the shoe fits, lace it up and strut down the catwalk with them. Strut. All right, Brenda. So we have the Two of Cups, partnership and true love. Ooh la la. All right. So this Two of Cups is definitely talking about partnership. Um, and with this heart space, all right? It could be talking about a partnership with another person, or it could be you finding something that um, you are very much involved with, you know? Um, it could even be partnership with something that you're working toward on business. But the thing is here is about the chemistry. There is this wonderful, you know, give and take reciprocal energy that's flowing back and forth. There aren't many stops with this energy, okay? So if you feel it and you're like, oh my God, this feels too good to be true, stand in it, believe it, because that's what you truly want in a partnership is that sense of ease and effortlessness, all right? So if if you feel it, if this is where you are, revel in that, be happy for that, all right? Don't second guess it, don't question it. Um, 
because the thing is, is that when you put negativity to it, you kind of eat away at it. All right. So whatever chemistry is being um, alchemized, put together, see what it can create. Okay. So I hope that resonates with you, Brenda. The look to your right. We are embodiment of that cup of that card right now. Put your hands out and hold the glass. There we go. I'm sitting there thinking, we are literally the embodiment of that card. And then Brenda from me. Yay, Page of Swords, Onadio. Um, so um, I got a lot of swords today, didn't I? Or a couple at the end here. So as you move through all the stuff that you're going through, really stay open to kind of shifting and changing your mindset and thoughts about things. I, I, the pages are about learning. And I really feel like right now is a great time to be just kind of like let go a little bit of I know what I know, um, you know, come in a little bit more like a sponge ready to absorb and to grow. And I'm really drawn to the steps behind Onario in this. Um, don't be afraid to take the steps up to the next level because I'm feeling this page really being drawn to deliver the message and the information onto the next person. This is this. I'm getting a lot of um, relay race where you take the baton and you pass it on. So it's like you've learned, you've gained, now pass it on. You know, teach it forward, kind of a thing. It's like whatever you learn, continue to push it forward, continue to pass it on. So having work issues, yeah. So so keep your mind open because you may be. They may say, are you are you willing to do this? Or you may get a new offer or a job or something where you don't feel qualified. Go ahead. Come on. I'm ready to learn something new. Stay open, even if you don't and, feel like you can do it. So, and Brenda also have an opportunity to go for my doctorate in metaphysics. So that is absolutely both. Nice. All right. Um, all right. So alchemized. I love it. So Sandy, number eight. Perhaps teaching. Woohoo. It's funny because even the steps of where like Onara was sitting look like it was steps up to a schoolhouse. It's probably like a brownstone or something. But for me, it makes, you know, in Florida, we don't have like brownstones. Those are like steps up into the old schoolhouse. All right. Last one, number eight. Sandy. Sandy. All right. Ooh, here we have wands. New idea and creativity. All right, so this is talking about, you know, everything that you're interested in, start stepping into that. Like um, Mitchell said, the pages are about being a student. You know, might not have all of the information, but this is just about stepping out with what you know, and having confidence in that. You can always learn more, you know. So put yourself out there to be able to learn, to absorb, to be a sponge, but also share what it is that you already have under your belt, you know. We create partnerships and um, we find teachers also when we let the world know what we're into and what we're doing and they can help us along our path. All right. So if you have some new energy that you want to step out and you feel like a kid again, go for it. Now is the time. Hey, Kelly. Welcome. Welcome. And Sandy, for me, this is 21, the world card. Um, so. Don't be afraid to let things in. You know what? Embrace when it's time to hand over to the next person. This is the first time I've ever really noticed this, but it's like there are two sets of hands. And I feel like this is obviously like a reading, like someone's doing it. You can see like the Celtic cross here. But I feel like this person is handing over the spread to the next person, handing off the information. Like you've done your part, now hand it over. This has... This echoes a lot of feelings of like, you know, parent to child as they go off to school or college, you know, um, the handing off, the passing of the torch. Um, but the world card is about bringing things to an end or a close or letting go or starting a new chapter. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so make sure it's OK. And I just it's very interesting. I'm I'm going to say something that I don't normally say, and that is. I'm going to put it in terms that I feel comfortable saying in a group setting, Sandy. If you are given some information about yourself personally, um, know that the initial reaction or response to it is not how it's going to turn out. Um, I almost feel like something comes at you and you're like, 
oh my gosh, bowled over, knocked over seven of wands, kind of what just happened. But then when the dust settles and clears, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing. And I, I, this is, that was from spirit, totally outside of the card realm. Um, but yeah, so just just hang tight through your initial reaction if you get a little bit of a bomb dropped on you. So hang tight with that. And also, I have to say, is anybody else watching <laughs> Manifest, the TV show? Um, Fabian refuses to watch it with me because he thinks it's just awful, cheesy writing and stuff. But I don't know why I'm stuck. But tonight, like five tarot cards fell on the ground and one of them was the world and she picked it up and it was like a volcano and it burned her. So, Oh, wow. <clears throat> so yeah, it was, it's a, it's a bizarre show. It's just bizarre. I think it's what like lost is or trying to be like what lost was, but I don't think it had the veracity. Gotcha. So yeah, Kelly, we, um, we already hit, we already picked our eight. We pick eight people at the beginning of the, um, of the uh, session and we just finished the last one. So Sandy, you, you froze on your end. So either you can watch it in the replay or if you can tell me like what the last thing you heard is, I might be able to repeat a little bit of it. So Brenda, I watched, but I haven't seen the new ones. Yeah, it's, it's uh, it, like I said, it's interesting. I, I'm invested and I'm going to watch it <laughs> to the end. Yes, Kelly, we'll be back in two weeks. I think if V is going to be able to do it on Memorial Day, the 31st, I'm, I'm here. I if, if something changes, just let me know. So Sandy, like I said, you can go back to the replay and I'm trying to see where this is. Probably around like 49 to 50 minutes or a little before that. That should be where it is and then you can see. So Norm, thank you. Always a pleasure to see you here too. So, um, oh, <clears throat> so V, mm -hmm. what, you got, what you got going on in your world? I am excited because I am going on a retreat next year to Ireland um, to uh, just have a good time with some psychic mystical stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I know I've talked about Ireland in the past. I feel like I have had a past, past life there. I've been called there for as long as I can remember. So now I get to go and see what the haunting is about. <laughs> see why I am being called to Ireland, so. Amy, you just made it as we're closing down. Good to see you. So you guys, I put in, you'll see the first um, um, little bit.ly um, uh, link I put in there. It says it ends with TSS Mitchell. That is the Tarot Summer School from Ethany and her group, Tarot Reader Academy. I am doing numerology for everyday life in the Tarot Summer School. You can go by just my section, which is released July 5th. It's like 12 people, 12 teachers, 12 weeks. Or for like, I think it's like 234, you can buy all 12 of them. Um, I know V, you taught there last year. Um, so yes. we just opened up and it starts in a couple of weeks, but check that out um, and use my link because then it goes through and registers coming from me. Um, and then let's see. Also, if you want to, if you want to support us financially, I put my PayPal and my Venmo there. V, hopefully you're putting yours there, but Hey, if you don't, if you don't feel led to leave us a cash tip or whatever, just share this link or anytime you see us post anything, share. That is one of the best ways you can help, um, support us in the work that we do. It's closing time. <laughs> Ooh, I hate one last clue. <clears throat> alcohol. You can tell I choked on it because it's been December 1991, last time I drank, people. So wow. <laughs> clean and sober. That could explain. It. That could explain the back practice. Um, now I will say this: I am very sad that the TV show Mom just finished off its final season episode. It was about a, it was about a bunch of alcoholic women, but it was a really really good show and funny. Nice. So, all right, any other final questions, comments, or thoughts? <sighs> Hopefully, Fabian and I will be going on the Baltic Sea Cruise in September. That's, we have it planned. You know, we got kicked off a boat, and this is where we retransferred it to. But uh, we just, you know, we don't know what the world's going to look like come then. But by the end of June, we will need to make a decision because that's when we have to put, like, our final kind of, you know, final installment payments because um, almost like, Almost the whole thing was paid for because they gave us a big refund. Oh, gotcha. So, um, so yeah, finish. What is it? Finish yoinked water or beer? 
Right. So here's one of the reasons why I don't drink anymore. I was that person that at the end of the night, I would go around with a big old Tupperware pitcher and I would take all the beers that were left over and pour them in the pitcher <laughs> and just sit down and drink them. Often after everybody left. <laughs> yeah. So I was kind of a, I was a happy drunk until I got sad. Then it wasn't pretty. Oh, it's, it's all, yeah, it's all good now. It's all good. I had a lot of stuff to deal with. So, but now I, I just, yeah, I'm good with it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, everybody, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you for hanging with us, supporting yeah. us in whatever way, shape, or form you feel led to do. We truly appreciate that. And I will say namaste, which basically means the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in me sees and recognizes the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in you. And I say namaste. Good night, everybody. I See you in two weeks. Two and two.